everybody to really our first training session here in the Wichita area. Uh, we're excited. Uh, there's, we've got a, a good crowd here tonight. And for all those who are watching uh, online and watching this you know, later after the fact, we do have booklets that are available. If you would just like to uh, message me, I can get this as well, or you can download it uh, off the internet just as easy from uh, Eric Worre. This is his material. It is him because he is such a phenom when it comes to multi-level marketing, direct marketing, in, and he's the guru. And if you want to learn and do something the best way, learn from the best. And so we're taking his stuff and applying it. The next five weeks, we have a training session on Tuesday night. At this time, right here, um, we have posted the, the different titles of them. And next week, it's all about getting started. All right? There will be notebooks and things of that nature as well for that. But, uh, you know, it's uh, Eric Worre is, is, a, is a man that uh, if we go on, and if you've been in part of this business, you know that uh, of his success. And uh, he comes with um, a great deal of clout and experience and knowledge. And uh, like I said before, we need to learn from the best because we really have something cool in front of us, guys and gals. We really do. And so if we want to do this the right way, is then we need to learn specific proven steps so that we do it the right way. Because... All of us here have invited people the wrong way. Yes? Show of hands. Everybody's waving at the cameras. Every one of us in here have thrown up on somebody. <laughs> Haven't we? Yes, we have. I still do. I still do. I love to talk. I get so excited. And I just want to... Blah! And you know, that's what I do. And then I, after I do it, I catch myself and I'm going, we're not supposed to do that. You know, I, oh, wrong way. But we do. And so there is a, from all those in this industry, there is a systematic, methodical approach to this for us free spirits, for us who like to talk, who like to cast a vision and tell the story. It's very difficult to stick to notes sometimes. That's me, okay? I just, you know, when you go through and do some role playing, which is very important to learn. Uh, because it helps you when you get in those situations, especially when we get into the ob objection category, when they object. Now, on our brochure here, in our Safe ID Trust brochure, we have those things, what we need to say on that back panel. Very good. Why are they there? Because our powers that be know that objections are going to come fast, they're going to come hard, and if we're not thinking on our feet, well, we're going to get stumped. And how many of you like... To get stumped. No, none of us. When somebody comes back and you're going, you know, I hate that, you know, especially as, you know, been doing public speaking and preaching and teaching and different conferences and all sorts of stuff, you really, really hate to go, you know, and this is no different. Um, I know with my experience with this, uh, I've had a couple of different opportunities in some direct market companies. Uh, dabbled in one, very successful in the last one, but had too much on my plate and decided I'm never doing this again. How many of you said that one? Okay, and then when you saw this, you decided to what? You jump right back in, didn't you? Yeah, because of the opportunity that we have before us. Uh, we really, really do. So, one, I want to welcome everybody that's here. Those who are going to catch this online, fantastic. Um, and so let's dig right into it. There's seven steps with a little eight follow-up uh, at the end. Uh, and it'll go by pretty quick. It doesn't last long. Uh, we'll go through this and then go from there. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's, it just makes perfect sense to win your inviting someone because in the GoPro book it's a gateway tool I think that's a, it's a gateway it's the gate if you can't invite someone you better go back to your day job because this is what we have to get because once we get inviting then the other things start and that's the very reason why I've designed um, uh, starting with inviting uh, getting started, presenting, closing, 
uh, 20, 20 prospects in 30 days. There's some really strategic things that if we do, uh, and then a 90 day click, and another 90 day click, and another 90 day click within this calendar year, that's how we build a foundation of a successful business. So if we just follow the rules, I believe Wichita's team, all of us, will remain at the top. We're all brand new, they're loving us, things are going good for us, I believe we have some divine intervention on our part, uh, but I'm telling you, to work together as a team, the different little aspects and group is vital, vital, vital that we take these things and move forward. So let's dig right in. You have a notebook in front of you. I made it this way so that you could have these notes because we're going to kind of fly through this. Uh, but there's also stuff that you need to kind of study. So if you're not real familiar about direct and indirect approaches and what that means, you know, you just kind of fly out at the seat of your pants, then um, really kind of dissect some of this information in here because, one, it's Eric Worries and it's the best. So why not use that? So. Everybody's familiar with warm prospects and cold prospects. Right now, we're so new into it, we should all be focusing on all our warm prospects. Okay? The people that you can go to and say, do you love me? Yeah. Do you know me? Yeah. You trust me? Yeah. Give me your credit card. No. <laughs> I've done that. It works. <laughs> but my brother, yeah, he did it to me. He did it. I did it to my brother, and he goes, are you going to do this again to me? Because I've done it once before. I said, but no, oh, but you did I went, Yeah, I threw up on him. And uh, he's like, no, brother, I'm just going to do my stuff. I I'll pray for you. Blessings to you. And I said, well, I got a card for you when I get money in, because you're going to be protected. You know? So Anyway, when we look at inviting, the very first step is all about getting in a hurry. Okay? Now, this is where I... Don't really follow the script. Probably shouldn't be saying that in the beginning of this teaching, but the text says really be in a hurry. And I kind of flip it, and I kind of understand that, because it's kind of like when someone calls me, and they know my life, they know my schedule, they know all the things that I'm involved with, they almost say the words that I need to say about being in a hurry. You know, the script says, you know, hey, how you doing, John? I don't have a lot of time now, but I just want to tell you something that's just awesome. you got to hear it. Okay? What's happening now is when I'm calling them or they call me, they're going, hey, I know you're a very busy man, but I, I just really, I saw this online. I just really want to hear about it. I mean, that's happened like five or six times. And I, and so I don't have to be in a hurry. But for the most part, when we look at our warm market and we look at those that uh, we really, really... I put them in phases. One, two, and three. Phase one is very likely to, to buy in. Regardless of the, how you're doing it. They just know you, they love you, and they're going to hear it. Okay? The second ones are maybes. And then the third level is a cold day in Hades if I ever get in one of these, okay? It's a pyramid project. They're on your list, but you never, ever take them off your list because your cold day in Hades may turn into a maybe someday. Your maybes may turn into a yes. So you never, ever take anybody off your list. So when we look at this in the script that he has given us here, when we get them on the phone, it's real important to be in a hurry. You know, you see in your notebook where it says it has oh, five or six different ones. You know, some use, you know, hey, I have a million things going on. I'm glad I caught you. Do you got a minute? Okay. What I have learned just recently, what I'm doing in my inviting process is because it used to be you would grab your whole team together. It'd be a Saturday morning. Everybody brings their calendar. Everybody brings their lists. And they get on the phone and they start calling. And you fill up your calendar. Okay? But we've moved. We still need to do that. That's critical. Okay? Because your calendar is your world. If you don't fill up your calendar by this inviting process, then you're not doing it right. You're not doing it enough and you'll just meander your way through it. So the calendar is clearly a very uh, important process to this inviting process. But this is what I, I heard it, and this is, I tried it. I tried it. 
And, and some of his teaching, something I was watching with him, and, and it was a text. Because we are in a world now that's switched a little different. Now, you can't do this whole process in a text. You cannot do it. You've got to call them. You've got to talk to them. You've got to get eyeball to eyeball. Some say it takes two or three times to see the material. Some say as much as five and six. It all depends upon the individual. It took me ten seconds. It did, didn't it? Ten seconds. Why? Because they said we're it's at, we're right at the top. Pre-launch. What? Pre-launch. Right at the top. I didn't really know the product. I just knew it was the timing was right because the whole world's talking about it. It wasn't sexy. It wasn't. I didn't particularly care about the product. I really didn't. I, I like the spot. Okay. And so when he invited me, what did you say, Jay? He said, "Hey." What are you doing at 11 o'clock? This gets back to my text thing. What are you doing at 11 o'clock? Are you at the office? I said, yes. What are you doing at 11 o'clock? You know, he's on the phone. And I said, uh, what's up? He said, meet me at Starbucks. Warm market. I said, okay, see you there. All right. I had no idea it was a, this. I just thought something's up. Are you buying your coffee? Yeah, something. Yeah, but you hadn't bought me a cup of coffee in some time. No. Yeah, so it had to be something. But that was okay because you know I did it. But it's very, very important. And but this is what I tried this last couple of weeks. Is I would text them and I would say, Hey, uh, what's up? How you been? Hadn't talked to you in a while. Man, I've been crazy busy. You know, what's up? When how you been? They'd respond, hey, you're doing good, doing this, doing that. I'm saying, hey, let's catch up. What are you doing? Do you got free time tomorrow afternoon? Okay. And they'd say, no, I don't, but I'm good on Thursday at 10. I said, let's get a cup of coffee. Great. Schedule. Boom. All right. And in these steps of process, I did everything that we talked about. I was kind of in a hurry. Uh, I kind of complimented them. I made the invitation. Okay, I got the commitment. I confirmed it. You know, once again, okay, we're good. Get a number and get off the phone. Those are the things we'll talk about. I've already had a number, and then I got off the phone. But the thing was, is I got him in there. I started with the text. This all happened by text. All happened. But that's very warm market. You can't do it to someone you hadn't seen in nine months. You really got to open the invitation. Hey, man, how you been? Doing good. Hey, uh, when you got free time, I, I just got to call you and talk to you about something. You know? And then it opens the door. Now, there are some, when we look at this in, in these steps, and you get in a hurry, uh, uh, they already know. If they've been down there, they know you, you've been in one, you know, like Sabrina's saying, none of her friends are answering the phones now. Okay? We've all experienced that. Right? It just happens. That's when we have to turn over another rock. Now, uh, what I usually say is because you have to, when you look at these scripts and when you go through this whole booklet, you have to uh, really decode your environment. Okay. I don't really say in my language, I don't have a lot of time to talk right now, but, but it was really important I reach you. I don't talk like that. Okay, you don't either. Okay, so you have to phrase these in the same context, but, but not these words. This, these, you have to, you know, make it personal. What I'm going to say is I'm going to say, they're going to say, hey, man, how you been? I'm going to say, I'm busy in a one-eyed cat watching nine rat holes. Now, think it, close one eye, close one eye, and think about that. My people, they know that's me, Okay. They know that's me. And so if I come with a language that's scripted and not me, they're, they're immediately going to, because it's not transparent, they're immediately going to find it. So in these role-playing scripts, make them your own. Very, very cool. And you know that. I'm you know, preaching to the choir. Keith's brand new to this, okay? But he could be very good, all right? And you know why? Because he was a hustler on the streets. That's a perfect skill set for a network marketer. It is. You know? And uh, that's why I wanted him on our team. Just because I know he can be successful at this. 
but he's learning a new skill set, like all of us are in some of us. All right? And so, okay, so be in a hurry. The second step is compliment the prospect. So when, let's say, I called Carl. He's on our team. Uh, he's still an affiliate. But I said, hey, Carl, man, I just saw him a week before. All right? And when I saw him a week before, I planted a bug, and I said, hey, Carl, I'm going to call you next week. We swapped numbers. I hadn't seen him. Okay? And uh, so we, I knew he was in Wichita. He knew he was trying to find me. He was hooked up with another church. And uh, so I said, hey, I'm going to call you uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Are you good? He goes, yeah. So I planted a bug. I do that a lot because then the wall comes down. They know you're coming. All right? Now, if you've blown up all over Facebook and social media like I have and all of us, people are already going to know what's happening. <laughs> and that's good. I mean, I've got friends going, really? Are we here again? <laughs> and I say, yeah. Yeah. And then I come with the same passion, the same excitement about the product. Okay, but when we're talking about this, we get them, it's in a hurry, and we start complimenting them. That's what I did to Carl. I said, hey, dude, man, gosh, it is, man, I love you, brother. How long has it been since we've seen one another? And he goes, well, I got out of prison six months ago. <coughs> this is a true story. Preaching in Lansing, and he was in for, I don't know, a long time. But him and I connected on maximum security. When I was preaching in maximum security, him and I connected like brothers. And I knew that one day he got out, that we'd connect again. All right? And so I played on that. And I was like, brother, man, it's so good to see you. Man, I'm excited. And what I did is I just, I just rekindled that friendship in, in complimenting him. You know? And there are other ways that, the, you know, presenting is real easy. Closing is a different thing. You know, so we find our little niche in this, but if we master these things, we can go through this and have a successful business because we've got it down like a second voice. You know what I'm saying? We can just do it in whatever situation we get in. We don't have to be prompted by our, our prompt sheet. We don't have to have a script in front of us while we're on the phone. But it's real, real important as we look in this, and that's what I did to Byron. I said, and I wasn't trying to get him in this because I knew he's bazillionaire with another one, okay? And I, I said, hey, Byron, I said, let's have coffee. I said, man, I have always looked up to you. You showed me this business. I've got something I'm involved with again. I'm at the top, and I'm telling you, I want you to see this uh, so that you can kind of give me your uh, skinny on Said, you know, and, and uh, he already knew about it because he's one of those. He's in the top 200 income earners in the whole industry. Okay, so he, he's very well versed. And so when, so he, we met, and, and, but what I did is I practiced that affirmation. I practiced, you know, giving him encouragement because I wanted him to know it was just, it wasn't going to be something that I was just going to be dragging information out of him. You know, I was just not coming to him and, you know, sucking life out of him because I'm trying to do this all over again. I really wanted him to know that he gave me my first shot. And today, because of that bit of education, I'm going to be successful. <coughs> you know, because I can do this. Because when my wife, when I told my wife, after I had met these guys and Warren at the Starbucks, and I went and told my wife, she goes, Really? Are we here again? But she didn't. She did She called it Emily gigs and all this other stuff before. She was never a part of it. Never. And she just couldn't get behind it. And it affected our marriage. That's why I got out of our salads. And that's why I got out. Even though I was making great money, I got out. I bowed out. Was getting ready to launch a national program called Faith and Fitness, which was in the school systems. I had a model that worked and it was just fixing to blow the whole thing up. But I chose my marriage over not having a partner that agreed with me, right? And uh, now, she agrees with me. That's why I know it's a divine thing. And, and so, that is just huge. That was not about being complimentary prospect, but so important when it comes to know 
what we're doing in the system. So you can see right here in some of the compliment scripts, you know, you've always been supportive of me. That was one I talked to Byron. You're one of the most connected people. Uh, you, you know, you have an amazing mind for business. And what I do is I decode the environment. Okay? You, it's kind of like you have to research your competitor. Okay? So if you have people out there and then, because here's the thing. We don't want two, threes, and fours on our team. We want seven, eight, nines, and tens. So we're going to go after those. So we have to research what are they doing now, what's our relationship, what's going to make them tick, what button do I need to push, some of these things prior to this conversation. So there's homework we have to do before we just start slamming the phone calls. Now, how many of us just slammed the phone calls the past three weeks? Yeah, all of us. Man, like crazy. But it worked, because I was batting a thousand. I was 11 out of 11. And I'm going, man, I'm good at this. This is working. And then I tell my wife, maybe I've got 11 out of 11. They all said, yeah, yeah. And she's like, but she's given the blessing. And that makes our home life so much better. So then I can leave. You know, I can join in and I can build company and relationships with all of us because that's what it takes. Even though we're in, we got little things flying all over our city, we have to come because when we look at, and this happens in some other trains, when we look at our tree, we have to be very specific with the strategy of who's doing what and what they need. Because if we see a hole where it's not, where it's weak and people need some help, that's when, because it's, it, we're all together here. Everybody kind of benefits from everybody, depending upon where you're at in all of that, of course. But it's really important because, I don't know about you, but I want to stay the number one team in the country. You know what I'm saying? I want us to move because, one, uh, our bottom line in the end of that only goes like crazy. So, decode your environment when it comes to complimenting prospects. Do your homework. Um, and use these as uh, uh, use these in, in a way that will help you pick out those specific people. Look at these. Look at the people you're doing and see what works for them. Alright? Uh, cold markets, you know how that is. Uh, sometimes it's it's even more, it's kind of like Sabrina. Right now, all her friends aren't picking up the phone. So right now, it's probably going to be best for her to start doing some cold stuff. Because then you don't have the fear or the, they're going to reject me again. I've already got the objection and I haven't even made the phone call. It happens to all of us. It happens to every one of us. Okay? Uh, but when you look at cold markets and some of these things, uh, when you're complimenting them, it's you, you decode the environment, okay? It's kind of like, let's say we're going to, um, it's your gal who cuts my hair, okay? And I go to her and I'm going to say, you know, how you been, Pastor? You doing good? I haven't seen you in three weeks. Your hair's all scraggly. What you going to do? I'm like, I know I've just been crazier and I'll get out. And, okay, I'm doing a training here tomorrow night, and i got to look my best. We're recording it. What are you doing? So I just kicked the door wide open. Okay? It's those type things. And she's totally cold. She's not in my warm market at all. Okay? Uh, and so, because I see her once every three weeks, but it's never business. It's never church. I go in to take a nap, because that's what I do when I get my hair cut. And so we don't talk. We don't build a relationship, but she asked a question, and because this was on my plate, this was in my mind, I knew right then that um, uh, I had an open door. I knew that so I could kick that one in, and she opened it, she, and so I thought, shoot, here we go. Keith, that water, where's that water? <coughs> All right, can you grab it for me? Please, sir. And so, one, we look, we're being in a hurry, the second one is compliment, and then the next one, the next one is make an invitation. All right. Uh, this, when we look at this, one size does not fit all. When you look in your notes and you look at these scripts that we have here, this is where we look at the direct approaches and indirect approaches. Direct approaches, when we look at this, 
you remember, we've already done one and two. All right, we've already uh, been in a hurry. We've already kind of opened that door. We've already complimented them. Uh, and when uh, you look at um, a direct approach, it's kind of pretty much in your face. It's kind of like, uh, let's see, uh, a buddy of mine who I pastored with, uh, I called him and, uh, and I said, because we were talking times before um, about this industry, okay? And I said, time because he said, man, the next time you get in one and you get to rock and roll and call me, okay? So I knew I could use the direct approach and I could say, dude, okay, I'm in one again, all right? Now's the time to get in. Okay, because I'm at the top, it's brand new, we're in the pre-launch. Give me your credit card and I'll fill you in later. Okay, I did that to him. Now, not all of those direct responses can we just do that. Okay, but we can come and say, look, you've got to see this. I mean, you, you come with that passion, you come with that excitement, you're still in a hurry, you've complimented them because of the conversations you had before and directly approaching them, um, because, you know, they said, like the notes say, that's a good one, is you told me when, you, you know, I got serious again about this to give you a call. I'm giving you a call. Let's ride. Okay? And uh, those work. <coughs> but only with those that you've decoded the environment again. Okay? I'm going to use that phrase a lot because that's the homework that we need to have done. Because then those objections that will come at us, we've already got an answer. It's just typical marketing, sales and marketing stuff. For those who are in that world, you clearly, when you're trying to sell a product, already know their objections they're going to bring at you. And so then in your own mindset and your notes, you already know what to say when they say it. No different right here. No different. Okay. So we've got to think along those lines. Okay. Uh, there are some people who, uh, a person on my team, who always talks about favor and increase okay Good. he's always talking about this prosperity life i've been in the dirt i don't want to ever be there again man i whatever it takes to bring in some cash flow i'm all about it i'll get to serve more i'll get to tithe more see that's his world so i went to him like this i said brother i said are you ready to have some serious cash flow? and he goes he parked it. Well, you know that. You know, he's African-American brother of mine. Oh, by the way, it's Pastor Fred. Hi, Pastor Fred. You'll be watching this later. I'm talking about you. But anyway, he's my partner in crime here. But he is very serious when it comes to that. Because he knows all things come from our Creator. And so he knows those, those opportunities of increase and, and blessing where they come from. Okay? This company believes the same way. I don't know where you all at. If you go to church, you don't go to church, you believe in God. You just, you know, I don't know that out there. But I'm telling you, we have some divine favor. Or we wouldn't be in a very short term looked at as the big dog in the country. I mean, we are. They're looking at us. What did Brian McLean say? Thank you, sir, when you look at this. But what did he say? We looked at the back office and there was one place we wanted to come to our first city, and it was Wichita. That speaks volume. They're back looking at, they're decoding the environment. They're looking at what's going. So when we take these trainings and we move forward, they know we're serious. And we are. Okay? Because we can just really crush this. Because we have a phenomenal product and when we learn these steps and move forward, it's only going to be uh, so much better. So those invitations, you know, there's others in the script is, you know, when I said I found something really cool, you got to see it. I think, you know, those came out in some conversations. Um, I've talked about even on Facebook and some of my social media, my web is what I call it, uh, is I'm launching a new business. You know, for those who are business-oriented people, you know, those then that clicks, okay? When they look at those things, there's some out there that we've, uh, uh, when 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 approaching them, 
um, with the invitation, it's like some of them need a job. But for whatever reason, they're down on their luck or they lost their job and they worked 37 years at Boeing or, you know, whatever the, the, the scenario is. But, you know, you can come to them and say, you know, are you still, are you still, you know, looking for a job? And they go, yeah, I am. I said, well, let's sit down. I got something I want you to see. Okay? Or what are you doing later? Okay, at 7 o'clock, I want you to go to Emerson Biggins at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Can you go? Yeah. Well, oh, no. You know, the objection. We'll talk about it in a sec. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you, do you, are you working? Direct approach. You can do this if it's a warm market. Well, you said you weren't working. You want a job? Let me show you this. Come on. You want to work? Okay, 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 I got it. And then they get there, or they don't get there. And then you either have to pick them up or don't have to pick them up. But when you talk about the communication side of it, I always follow up from a phone call. If they're say they're coming to our meeting or a, a coffee or whatever, I always follow up. Are we still on? Are we still on for seven o'clock? Do you need a ride? You know, and it, it, it just helps. So you can look at some of those direct ways. Uh, but here's the great thing about these is always lead with an open ended question. Because then it, re, it, it requires a response. Because if you go with a closed-ended question, there's no system. And you've got to come up with another question. And if you're not savvy to it, then you're not going to have one. Okay? Because you haven't decoded the environment. You haven't planned on what you're going to do. And, but you, if you go with an open-ended question, like some of these, which are for the cold market in our notes, it's like, have you ever thought of diversifying your income? That's open-ended. The other one is, do you keep your current career options open? See, those are open-ended. There is a, a, a directed response that has to come back. Okay, so when we look at indirect invitations, uh, this is really another very powerful tool that helps people get past that initial resistance because nobody likes to hear no. Oh, we don't. We all want everybody to love us. We all want everybody to like us. We want people to, I mean, that's kind of like, okay, y'all do it. I do it. We know this, okay? Okay, I'm a little transparent. I did this today. I took a picture. I did, I've only done four selfies, okay? I took a selfie this morning because I needed one for my scottdryden.com thing that I'm doing with some publishing and stuff. I needed a new picture because right? my IT gal said, you got to have a new picture. So I was in this nice red sweater with a white collar, and so I took my picture. So then I thought, man, I'm looking old. Ooh. So I thought, oh. So I posted it, and I said, yeah, ooh, man, I'm looking old. Oh, well, God is good. Okay, posted it. I got 111 responses back to the picture. Okay? And I wanted, throughout the day, to pull out my phone and go, who else is responding? <laughs> we do that, don't we? Yes, we do. We want people to like us, to notice us, to love us, to compliment us. So these people on the other end of that, when we compliment them, when we bring those things in, they're loving it too. Okay, they're loving it too. So, you know, I, I'm not that too far out there. Y'all know it there too. I know y'all do it. Because I see your selfies out there too. What, what my cousin said, you're looking like Grandpa. I was like, what? You look like Grandpa. I was like, I don't look like Grandpa. I look like my dad. But, you know, my little neck with my skin was hanging down. And that's bad. That's bad. Okay. Indirect. Okay. You know, for a warm market, I've just started a new business. I'm scared to death. The more honesty we can get with them, I'm telling you, the walls come down. Now, this is crazy. I don't know what I'm doing, but you've got to join. You know? <laughs> How many times have we said that early on? Because we don't know what we're doing. My first 11 attempts, I had nothing. Didn't see the brochure. Didn't see the back office. All I knew was what they told me. <laughs> in 15 minutes, 20 minutes. That's all I knew. And I got 11 out of 11. It's because I came with this transparent, authentic, 
I'm scared to death. I don't know what this is, but man, in my gut, it looks like a real deal. The product, we all need it. You know, so you kind of move from some of those things when you look at cold markets. And then also in the notes, it talks about super, super indirect scripts. Uh, and, and this is kind of a psychological approach. Okay, it's kind of like the psychological ploy in a lot of times when you're uh, in conversations with certain people, you really want them to think that they've got the ball in their court, but you have them, you're in control. Okay, and this first little response is kind of like that. It says, the business I'm in clearly isn't for you. Okay, <laughs> but I wanted you to ask. I wanted to ask, who do you know that's ambitious? So what happens is, you're, it's so indirect that you're really not speaking to them about it. You're really trying to find out who they know, but you're really speaking to them. And what they've done is they've realized, hopefully, that they're not, you're not speaking to them. It's to something else, but what's going to happen is you're going to have an open door or an open window right there to tell about the product, tell about the vision, cast a little vision there, and they're going to be listening. They're going to be listening. And so that's what, when you look at some of these for a, a super indirect uh, approach, and you can see the others. One of them is, who do you know that might be looking for a strong business that they could you know, diversify their income? Uh, do you know any sharp people? Because clearly, when we look at these for referrals, it's real, real important whether they get on board or not, like my buddy Byron, okay? I'm asking him um, for referral. I'm like, okay, you, you, this is a great product. I'm not going to kind of dig in your thing. I know you're not going to ask me to join your thing, but is there some people out there you know that, uh, that I could, you know, pony up? Step four when we're looking at this is if I blank, would you blank, okay? Um, this one, you know, is, is all about the, the uh, knowing and understanding those first three steps that we're doing, okay? It's all about the tools. It's all about the third party. It's all about the, 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 the uh, three-way calls. It's all about the brochures. It's all about the back office. It's all about those DVDs. It's all about using those. It's kind of like, you know, if I left you this, well, we did this with one of David's, and he was asking me about it, and I said, to tell your buddy, hey, tonight at 7 o'clock, can you look at the website? Okay, sure, I can, I can go to the back office, yeah. Then you say, okay, well, here's what's cool. Sometimes the scripts say, okay, look at it tonight, and tomorrow morning I will call you. Or, look at it tonight at 7 and 9, I'll call you. This is what I like to do. Okay, it's a little better approach, and you just don't have to sit and worry if they look at it. Is you go, hey, are you, you can look at it at 7 o'clock tonight? Cool. I tell you what, I'm going to get on at the same time. I'm going to call you, and let's talk about what we see. All right? So then you got them right there. Okay, so it's kind of, if I would do this, would you do that kind of thing. And then... Um, it's the same way with, with the CDs, with the brochures. Is it's, it's, what, what's the, the comment? Fortunes are in the follow-up. Okay? How many times have we left somebody hanging in one of these before? Yeah. And they came back later and said, Dude, you never came around. Man, I was interested. Ouch. I was ready. And you never, what, man, are you that busy? You know? No, I have ADHD and I forgot. Okay, which is another true story. We won't go into there. Okay, anyway, and so then step five is get a time commitment. Okay, we kind of talked about that as we've been walking through and what we just did as I kind of blended step four and step five, but it's really important is to get that commitment. Okay, because then they know you're serious about it. Because if you say, if they say, yeah, I'll watch it. Okay, I'll have some time later. Then, okay, cool, we've all done this. Okay, that's cool. And then we hang up, and we're going, man, I bet they don't watch it. Man. Or they don't watch it, which is probably most of them. So it's real, real important for us to get that commitment of the meeting, to get that commitment of the coffee time, to get that commitment to look at the back office, to get that commitment to hand off a business card or a brochure <coughs> or a DVD. Okay, it's real, real important.
Okay, and you know some of the script says, do you think you could watch the DVD for sure? For sure, you know, that's kind of, you know, it's just real important. Okay, and it says in here, the key is to get them to say yes a second time, and then, um, because you're going to do that over here in step four because you've given them some stuff. Step five is you're trying to get the commitment. So really, through that dialogue, it's three and four times you've got a yes. Okay, and so then, let's say... Um, you talk to them about noon that day, and you're both going to get on at 7 o'clock to look at the back office. Play the opportunity video, both look at it, okay, you're talking on the phone. Well, about 6 o'clock, I'm still going to text them or call them and remind them, okay, to do that. Are you still on for 7 o'clock, okay, because I'm crazy busy and it's real important for me I've blocked out the time. Okay, I've blocked out the time for you. Okay, and they're going to go, oh, oh, and, and, and that it's real, real important when you do that. Okay, and then, of course, step six is to confirm that, which we talked about it. Step seven is get that time and number. Um, they've said yes over and over and over, uh, and uh, chances are they're going to follow through with it once they've said yes three or four times. And the last one is get off the phone. Okay. It's how many of you get the confirmation and then talk yourself out of the appointment? Because you, two hands for Merlin, okay? Yeah, get it and go. Move on. Because we can blow it by continuing to throw up on them and then they're going to go, eh, you know, okay? That happens a lot. So be very careful. It's, this is a very quick process. Very succinct, decode your environment, walk through the steps, and when you're done, you're done. Now there are a couple opportunities in here where when you have opening questions, when you need to stop talking, okay? Very, very important when you're in certain situations to stop talking and let them talk, okay? And we'll get more and more into that as we look at the presenting and the closing opportunities. Because we can present, 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 present ourselves right out of the deal. Okay, present, stop, listen, shut up. People like me, very difficult. It really is. <laughs> Those that know me, know what I'm saying. Okay, uh, and, and that's it. So basic stuff, um, walk through the steps, do it succinctly, decode your environment. I can't stress that enough. As we look at your list, I like the ones you need to do it now. Look at these steps. Kind of go, if you've done the Go Pro book, then look into there, some of that gateway chapters. Um, watch the, the DVDs that we have that we need to pass around. I've got three of those Go Pro DVD uh, packets that Brian McLean gave to me. So well, we need to make sure I need to somehow uh, get me on... Um, Messenger or Facebook uh, and uh, then I'll make sure I get it to you, okay?